We can form bone tissue in one of two ways. The first one we're going to talk about is called intramembranous ossification. The thing that is in common in both of these ways of forming bone is that you have to start with some sort of connective tissue um, model. Some sort of connective tissue something has to be in existence before bone growth can happen. So in the case of intramembranous ossification, you actually have to have a fibro, what was it, um, dense irregular connective tissue. So you have like this dense irregular connective tissue that is the starting place for the whole thing to happen. Now, does the dense irregular connective tissue remind you of anything? It reminds me of the periosteum or the perichondrium. And in fact, you have little cells in here. Guess what they are? They start out as mesenchymal cells. And then they differentiate into cells called osteoprogenitor cells. Where did I write that down? Osteoprogenitor cells. And guess what they give rise to? So this mesenchymal cell is going to essentially become an osteoprogenitor cell. And then who's going to build bone, my friends? Osteoblasts. So the osteoprogenitor is going to turn into a blast. Mm. Let's make our blast blue. Osteoblast. And the blasts are going to build bone. Now when a blast begins to build bone, all it's doing is it's secreting bone matrix out around itself until it's painted into a corner and then it becomes an osteocyte because it's stuck inside its lacuna. That's it, you guys. So in the case of intramembranous ossification, we start out with our mesenchymal cell, our stem cell. It becomes this osteoprogenitor cell, which then becomes an osteoblast, which builds bone. Done. That's the end of the story. Um, there's something else I was going to tell you. Oh, I was going to tell you, who does this happen to? What kinds of bones do this? Well, they're mostly flat or irregular bones. And my examples for you, um, the flat bones of the skull, this kind of bone formation takes place. So when you are in utero, you have this dense irregular connective tissue that then is the, I guess, model for building the bone tissue via intramembranous ossification. Be cool. Endochondral ossification, think about what, what do you think endochondral means, and I'll be right back to explain that one.